1993, I was still in, yes, I was still in school. And 1993, I was doing a certificate course in theater arts then, CTA. I was called upon to come because I was very good in acting in school. So I was called upon to come and do one um, soap opera then in NTA Aba, Channel 6. I will never forget that Channel 6 Aba. I don't know, does it still exist? <laughs> NTA Aba. So me, I, Francis Duru, educate of, of, you know, of, you know, of our, of our times then, that we, they gave me just a minor role or something like that. I think I acted as a secretary to educate as you <laughs> So that's how I started. And then I moved to Pregnant Virgin, my first ever feature film, uh, Pregnant Virgin, and then the, the rest, as I say, I say is history. Well, I mean, at some point, you just want to try other areas of interest, as long as it's within the genre of your of entertainment. Yeah, every actor would aspire to want to produce, at some point you want to direct, and at some point you want to own your movie, you want to own your space. So, I think that's just what, it, was just, it came naturally. Well, I started off as, for, as um, um, when I started, I, I wanted to cater for children with special needs. Um, autis autism was my, my focus as at that time. And um, it helped. I did a lot for the autistic um, school and children by the special grace of God. I don't like to um, count my blessings, but since you're asking, this is the first time I'm actually going to be talking about what I do as per charity. So yes, and then I began to see that there are other areas of needs people want, people some want some word of encouragement. Some people just needed to have, you know, smile to people to just give them a smile or something like that. So anyway, I began to go to the prisons to hear, to commune, communicate with the prisoners, talk to them about self-confidence, um, preach to them because um, I'm also well grounded in. In, in Christ, so I um, would preach to them. I would tell them that this is not a, a death sentence, you know, stuff like that. And I began to move into women, you know. I began to move into education, education, helping the poor to go to school, no matter how little you raise. I mean, the child's school fees could just cost as little as 2,000, and they can't afford it. And I went to, I was just doing so much, a lot, more than even more than I could carry. So half the time I was always broke. <laughs> but you know, this brokerage was just very, I was always happy being broke because I was doing the right thing. 